Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from Bullionow, bullionow.com.au, bringing you the most complicated and confusing unboxing we could imagine. Yes, <laughs> correct. So stand by, hold your hats on. Um, this is a combination of coins, different sizes, some will incur GST, some will not, and none of us will know why. It's confusing but exciting. <laughs> you know, it, it, if you just have a confusing unboxing, it's like, oh, that was over. But this one is actually very exciting um, because we have some stuff from Germania. We, you we you may recognize these, uh, these black ones we've had uh, we've done a couple of videos on recently, um, and they've had the Germania bars in them. Um, but people have been asking for a while, and I'm super excited to actually have them through, um, for Germania's coins. They have a bit of a reputation um, for being uh, very, very nice looking. Um, and besides a, a few that I was able to see over in Berlin, we really haven't seen too many of them um, in Australia here. Um, besides people kind of making one-off orders or whatever to, to get them into the country. So um, I am super, super excited to, to have these through at, at Bullion now. Um, and once we figure out a way to, to break say, into all this... You're going to have to keep talking, mate, because we're going to open the box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's why it's a bit complicated, is that's it. The, um, there is some different sizes, um, and as Michael touched on before, some will incur GST and some won't. Why? Are you able to talk us to, to why? why? Why would it matter between sizes? Well, it's not so much the sizes, it's what what they're packaged in or what finish they've got on them right and that can make all the difference and to be honest i'm not actually even sure myself why some of these incur gst yet yeah okay i'm hoping once we've got into them it, and it have shall a look, become clear yeah <laughs> i'm hoping and go oh well that's why uh, so. Little fun fact that I think a few people will probably know and you're able to relate to, I think, as you're cutting into this, that um, that's it. They started out as a packaging company. Um, I think we've touched on that before, but hmm. yeah, they started out as a packaging company and as you're tearing into your uh, your many layers there, <laughs> I'm sure you can see uh, that they've retained their skills. Yes. Slightly unfortunately. <laughs> it just oh. gives us something to do for an unboxing, you know? All these ones that are just one <laughs> knife cut, what's the point? So... Love the presentation just on the box, just starting it up. Yeah. So, you know, they strap them down. You get the bit of a burst on the outside. So we can even say, yeah, these are the one ounce. Galia, Galia, I never know how to pronounce that, and Germania, one ounce silver. And they give you a hint at it from there. So there's 20 coins in a tray, five trays in a box. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see how they come. So if you order um, 20 coins, I'd assume it's going to come in a tray. That oh, looks like that. We've got certs. Or you can get a box. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. I love the I love the tray. I mean it's it's really dumb. It's a plastic tray. It's a cheap plastic tray. Gee, it looks good. I was gonna say, we're opening it, you know, it's worth how much, and you're sitting there geeking out over a tray and not the silver coins within. Yeah, I know. See, Wait. I keep saying I come from the dark side, I come from the collector side of these things. You know, like they've even got Germania Mint. You can't, you kind of can't see it. I don't know if you can catch it it's on camera. It's imprinted on the, on the yeah, plastic. That's really cool. Anyway, back to the important back part. Back to the actual coin itself for this so, coin unboxing. This is the coin. That's beautiful. I love the patterning in the background there. Yeah. I should have done a little bit more research on the um, on the characters on it. But that's beautiful. I was going to say, I think it is actually the, the, the same design across the, the sizes. So yeah. if you haven't got it for this one, we're going to be struggling for the others as well. <laughs> and um, then the shield on the obverse. But very, very nice looking coin there. And oh, the detail in it. Look at the, the yeah. leaves and the... Ah, that's beautiful. As, as someone who does the, the close-up um, footage of them, um, I absolutely love coins like this because they mm. look better <laughs> the closer oh, yeah. and the more you're able to capture. There is, there is certain coins that you kind of go, oh, let's not look at that one too closely. Um, but <laughs> ones, ones like this... We won't mention who we're all in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but ones like this I am really looking forward to, and you will have probably just seen it, um, looking forward to kind of showing off some of that detail and you can kind of yeah. see where the extra effort has gone. And they come with C of A's, very swish. Right. So they're a basic C of A, but they're, they're, they're good. They've got all the information on it. Yep. So that's the one ounce. Now these do not incur GST. All right. Good stuff. And we've got a few of those. I know there's only three boxes on the table here, but there was 16 odd boxes delivered. So um, I was just being nice to the table. Yeah. <laughs> 
So let's see, you might even have to um, speed me up or something, Rouge. Yep, let's go for a bit of movie magic. Alrighty, we've broken through the outer shell. Let's, uh, let's keep going. We'll see how many boxes within a box there is on this one. Okay, Goodness. this is why this incurs jurisdiction. <laughs> um, this yeah. isn't a criticism, this is an observation. Look how they come. So you, you get an individual sleeve, if you like, protective sleeve. Is this per two ounce coin? This is per two ounce coin. Alrighty. So, we are definitely heading into a, uh, an LCS world of things. Yeah. Oh, so for those that, that don't know, the LCS is a little coin. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> so look, these are very much a... They're going to be much dearer. So it's going to be cheaper to buy two one ounce coins than one two ounce coin because it's going to incur GST and it's got the flash packaging. So it's becoming more of that collector's item. Yep. Um, and as you can see, just from the presentation here, and I haven't even got to the coin yet. I was going to say, we're... You know, like, just look at the design. Even on the back of that packaging. as well, you've got the shield there as well. Love it. You know, it's just, just beautiful. So it tucked in there. So just a basic cert. Again, it's a very similar cert to the other one, obviously with a different weight on it. And yeah. it's got the groovy little... Um, got the hologram on the back hologram there, hologram on sticker. And the coin itself, very similar diameter by the looks. What? Just a uh, there we go. Th bit thicker by the looks of things. It is. So actually, why don't we grab out... But too many boxes all, laying all over the place at the moment. Oh, paper cut. <laughs> Going to regret that. Now, I was going to say. So you can see on a side by side, they are pretty much. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> pretty much an identical um, diameter, but then if you look at it side on, they're twice as fat. I think this might even be the one. Um, I, I think even with the the larger sizes that we've got, they they keep a fairly similar diameter and go quite thick with. Oh, them. really? So we will. Uh, well, well, it's going to be fun because there's. Uh, there's a 10 ounce in there, yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be the chunky off. Yes. We so might actually yeah, let's keep leave them, them there. The, look, just the, just the design of the packaging is unreal. Yeah. It, it's absolutely going to be more. Like, don't, don't jump on there and go, oh, man, you know, like the two ounce is so much dearer than the one ounce. Yes, it is. I think, <laughs> right? I, I'm, I'm going to say, I think the people that have been asking us desperately to get these in are kind of aware of, you know, the, the reason that they are worth that little bit more and the reason that the people are chasing them in, in general. Um, mm. as, as someone who has now been stacking for a few years, it's kind of very much a, you know, Germania coins are <laughs> a very yeah. kind of high up there. Um, and so I'm absolutely not going to be adding these to my stack for the purpose of low premium stacking. I'm going to be adding them for that, as you said. The, are, we, are we able to, on, on this channel, are we able to call numismatics the, uh, the dark side? <laughs> yeah. Um, Look, it, it is the dark side. It absolutely is. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, a bit of a different purpose. Um, yeah. But, but very, but very beautiful nonetheless. I keep saying on live streams and videos, and, you know, we've, we've done it to death. But if you're just stacking for, I just want best bang for my buck. I just want kilos. I just want ounces. I just want grams. You don't go into the numismatic side of it. You don't go into even the slightly collector side of it. The collector side is a different thing. It's, you can still make really good money. They can be still really good investments. Um, they're just different. And you'll find, yes, you pay more for it up front. Yes, you have to be very selective about what you buy. There is a lot of numismatics out there that, for want of a better word, are garbage. Um, and they are a waste of money. They're just... You know, they're just there really to make the the producer, the retailer even, but certainly the producer of it, to, to make money for them. And you've got to be really careful with that. And a good bullion dealer or coin dealer is worth their weight in gold when it comes, no pun intended, but, or absolutely a pun intended, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, I take it back, I entirely <laughs> meant the joke. <laughs> That's right. Um, but, you know, this is where a good relationship with a good dealer um, really comes to the fore and makes makes it worthwhile if you do spend that little bit more with your dealer than you know you could have squeezed the squeezed him twenty cents by going 
to another you know another dealer altogether yeah you probably could and you probably would have saved yourself you know 20 cents a coin but when it comes to looking at other investments and diversifying away from that one kilo lump of silver this is where the relationship pays itself back multiple fold um, and you can get into you know limited editions you can get into getting things before they're properly released um, and you can get advice on things like what we're opening right now and why it might be good for your collection or alternatively why it might be bad for your collection I was about to kind of preface this with a warning on, oh, you know, we, we, this, we may have missed with this box because obviously we weren't sure what was in each one. But I think looking at the outer there, we have actually done really well. And this is the next size up. So I am pretty stoked with that. This is the next size up. Oh, just, just <laughs> beautiful. Uh, it's the same design as the other one, other than obviously it says five ounce on the front. Yep. And We're you're getting right. thick. Have a look. Have a look at the side of that sucker. Everyone uh, was commenting on the fact that you called the um, the saber tooth tiger a, a chunky coin, um, and I think I think this uh, takes the cake. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at the look at the width on that, and it's still. If we put it next to the others, I was going to say if I do my if I do my top down shot, we've got yeah, three well. one ounce coins there. But if we go down a bit, there we go. And the exciting thing is that we've still got to find the 10 ounce. I think um, there is only quite a few of those. Uh, I don't think there was a whole heap. No, um, there wasn't. It was a very small order on the 10 ounce. Yeah. So be aware if you're, if the 10 ounce, and look, it's going to be, it's going to be far cheaper to buy one, correction, it's going to be far cheaper to buy 10 one ounce coins than it is to buy one 10 ounce because of this GST, yeah. you know, kind of packaging issue. It's, it is going to be dearer, but you've got to look at what you're getting. Um, and again, yeah, okay, take it with a grain of salt. I'm selling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get all that argument out the way because it's true. But it's also an incredible coin, an incredible talking point to add to your stack. And potentially, and I, there's no guarantees in this world, potentially it's a better investment. So you're going to find with a bullion coin, it goes like just a standard bullion. It goes up and down with the price of, of spot. You find with the collector's coins, if you pick the right ones, they will go up with spot. But when spot comes down, you'll actually find they either um, stay where they are, go up still because the collectors are chasing them, or just come down a fraction, but nowhere near as much as spot even comes down. So they have that extra bonus to them. So just be aware of that. Again, it's not financial advice and you really do need to talk to someone about it if you've got questions. Um, a reliable, trustable, trusting, I don't know what the word there trustworthy. is. Trustworthy. Trustworthy, that's the one we're going for, a trustworthy source um, and whoever that may be in your sphere. Yep. All right, we're going to take a really quick break here because we have to find the other box that's got the 10 ounces in. Yep, we'll be, uh, we'll be back momentarily. Alrighty, so we have the 10 ounce here. This is Ruben from the future a little bit. We were uh, struggling to, to find them in the boxes we had down the, down this end, but we found them eventually. Um, and there we have the, the same box as the, the other ones, obviously with 10 ounce down the bottom this time. Um, really awesome design there. Um, and over the back as well. And if we open this one up, again with the COA, but over this side, this time, it looks like a normal one ounce coin hiding in there. But if we can get this one out, which does take some finessing, there we go. We have a massive thick coin. So same, exact same diameter as the, the others that we've already unboxed, um, but 10 ounces thick as opposed to the the one the two and the five um definitely heading into that more collector's side of things with this one as they've only made 250 of these uh, worldwide um but you can kind of see why it's a little bit more of a uh, unique coin um so let us know what you think down below if you if you like this or if you like to see your, your 10 ounce planchets nice and big instead of more of a i don't know it feels like a bit more of a, a weight or something like that but yeah let us know what you think all right, so that's all four sizes. As you can see, they're beautiful coins. 
You look at them from the top, they all look the same. You look at them from the side, you get that incredible chunkiness. And I don't think I've ever seen a 10 ounce coin in a one ounce a long, diameter. A long 10 ounce <laughs> coin, yeah. So beautiful coins. Like I said, a little bit of a confusing um, unboxing, unfortunately. Mm. The one ounce will not incur GST because you can see it's just a raw bullion coin. Yep. Okay, it's got a, C, a certificate of authenticity, but it's effectively just a raw bullion coin. They come in trays of 20 boxes of, I think we said 100, didn't we, Yes, Ruth? yes. Right. Then you move into the two ounce, the five ounce, and the 10 ounce. With the sleeves and the custom like holder for the sale. Yeah, it's a bit of yeah. a... Yeah. It's, it's the next level up. It's, it's not a proof, high relief, you know, all those things that Perth Mint tell us some of their coins are. It's a, it's a beautiful coin that's slightly different, slightly fatter, slightly heavier, with the C of A still, certificate of authenticity, but the, the proper boxing, the proper sleeve, all that type of stuff, beautiful design, um, and it does incur GST. So that instantly puts it 10% dearer than getting a multiple of, of your um, one ounce bullion. So I'm, just be I'm aware going to of say that. this is nowhere near as convoluted as um, as some of the other things we've done in the past. So yeah. it's not it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe it isn't, but I just it worries me when we start playing around with this has got GST, but the same coin that looks exactly the same doesn't doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> All good. All right. Um, we got there in the end. I think we did. Grab them while you can. They won't be available for very long, but they will be available for a little while. So jump online, grab them while you can. If the only the bullion stuff floats your boat, just grab some bullion coins. If the other ones float your boat, grab them while you can. They won't be, and I don't even know if we'll bring them in again. I'll let you in on a secret. The shipping alone for this, not the coins, the shipping alone cost me 15 grand. There you go. <laughs> um, so we'll probably gauge it a little bit based on um, yeah, your reaction to them. So let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah. Um, let us know what you think of them by either buying them or not. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll gauge it and see if uh, it's worth getting more Germania coins in. Sounds good. All right, we will see you all in the next video. See ya.